16 teams remain in the competition. The Chizhovka Arena is host to the opening game of the round of 16. Will Yunost Minsk continue their somewhat fortunate performance from the group stage? They just managed to squeak in. But the opening stages of this game didn't look too happy for them. Why? Because Munich had back-to-back -back power plays. They were peppering Brikun and his net. But all that would come to a screeching halt because look at this individual effort. Gainatinov, 8.26 the time of his goal, and Yegor can do it all. Back across the body, Austin Birkin sits, stares, and wonders what the heck just happened as Yunus Minsk score on their second shot of the game about eight and a half minutes in. But then things would get from bad to worse. A second goal on the cards in the first period of play with three minutes to go. Ivan Drozdov gets it to go off the rebound and what an open net he's got to work with. No chance for Austin Birkin there. His team would be down and they would almost be out on this third goal. Things look to be all smiles on the Yunost Minsk bench, but we would have another look at it. Why? Because of that man, Drozdov. He got the second goal, but they're going to credit him with goaltender interference. No goal, it's waved off, and Munich, well, they let a real big sigh of relief go by, but their worries are not over. Austin Birkin still pressured in front of his cage, and he's forced to make two big-time stops on a big-time shooter right out in front. Still a two-goal game. Well, the two goals wouldn't be all we had in this game. Why? Because Justin Schutz has something to shoot about. A breakaway goal, 33-23 the time of Justin's tally, and a big tally at that. Splits the defenders with that blazing speed, and then Brikun doing his best. Dominic Kashik impression, can't get the job done. It's a one-goal game. On to the third period. More power play time, and finally, someone scores on the man advantage. It's Trevor Parks, 41-30, the time of that tap-in goal, right past Brikun, and the hopes of Minsk. Well, they're dying a slow death. Why? Because a third goal unanswered from Red Bull Munich. Yasin Elis, just a minute and 59 seconds on the dot later to make it a one-goal advantage for the visitors. Down by two, up by one. Could they hold the fort? Austin Birkin certainly thinks he can. After a shaky opening period where he let in two goals, he earns the victory for him and his team as Red Bull Munich prevail 3-2 away from home.